As some of you may know, the United States government's FCC has been looking into ways of implementing laws to protect net neutrality and to protect the principle of openness that allows everyone to start websites, to start services that may become as huge as YouTube. It's this principle that has enabled so much growth on the internet and that has allowed anyone with a bright idea that could change the world to actually make a huge difference. Because unlike television on the internet, you don't have to pay for every broadcast to get your name and your show and your commercials on their station. And if you can pay for some web hosting and some bandwidth, everyone can access your service. A net neutrality law would protect this principle of openness. It would make sure that internet service providers like AT&T would not be allowed to discriminate, to say, well, we're gonna speed up your access to YouTube, but we're gonna slow down your access to Vimeo because we have a deal with Google and therefore we allow you fast access to their sites, but we will slow down access to all other video sites. Proper net neutrality legislations would prohibit this kind of thing and would make sure that the internet remains the open playground for innovation and competitiveness that it is today. Google has probably been the most important big multinational to always stand up for net neutrality and give proper feedback to government or organizations such as the FCC so that they are well informed about these matters. Google has now made a formal official suggestion to the FCC of what their vision is of a net neutrality legislation. What it comes down to is that their suggestion for a net neutrality legislation is something that would be beneficial and profitable for them, but would be no guarantee for net neutrality and would be a major step back. They are using very vague terminology such as saying as long as the discrimination is not meaningful it's okay. And they are even saying that net neutrality cannot be applied to wireless internet because there are too many technical limitations and there has to be discrimination in this area. This is a very dangerous suggestion because wireless is the future in five or ten years from now we will all be using the internet far more on our smartphones and tablets and laptops wirelessly than via our trusty old ethernet cables. It's perfectly understandable for internet service providers like AT&T and Verizon to say that they need a certain measure of traffic management to make sure that their networks do not get overloaded. And while none of us particularly enjoy bandwidth caps, this is a fair way of doing this. Your telephone company may charge you by the minute for international calls, but they do not tell you who you are allowed to call and who you cannot reach at the same quality. They do not restrict your access. If there is a problem both in the wired and the wireless space with the amount of traffic, bandwidth caps are a fair way of managing this. There's no need to block or slow down certain sites or services. It's a very logical commercial move for Google because their services, especially YouTube, keep taking up more bandwidth, especially now that everything is in high definition and they want to make sure that they can stay at the top of the competition. Google has already agreed with the major internet service provider Verizon in the US to see this framework as the net neutrality standard. Many mainstream media outlets such as the Huffington Post have been covering this, calling it the pact to end the internet as we know it. In the description box, bar down below, I'm linking to at least one petition that you can sign if you live in the US. If you guys come across better petitions or better actions that are being done to send a strong signal to Google and to the FCC, let me know. I will link them, maybe make a future video about them. I really felt I had to take my time out and make a video for this, even though I'm working on a very important project that we're trying to launch this month or the next month. Spread the word, sign the petition. See you guys soon.